There it is. It is Selection Sunday. The field of 68 will be unveiled in just over six hours. There are five automatic qualified spots to be claimed on this Sunday, the final day of the regular season prior to the start of the NCAA tournament. In the SEC, Auburn has moved into the championship game for the fifth time, looking for their third title. Jalen Williams and the Tigers believe they're on roll. You know, they just won their first game of the season by fewer than 11 points yesterday when they beat Mississippi State. It had been blowout one way or the other, but the Gators are hot, explosive, and an SEC showdown coming. The college game day is ready to roll first. Good morning. Happy Selection Sunday. Just over six hours away from the bracket being unveiled. You know Jay Billis, Seth Greenberg, and Jay Williams. I am merely Reese Davis. All right, now look, we talk a lot about bubbles and tickets being punched, and all that's great and it's exciting today. How many national title contenders are there in your judgment? Probably around eight, I would say, that are going to win the championship. It's different to make a Final Four. I mean, when you get into the bracket and you're in a specific region, first thing you have to think is 75% of the best teams in the tournament are outside of this region. So it's about your path. You're playing basically three four-team tournaments in three weeks, and that makes it a little bit easier to wrap your head around. But for me, the best team is UConn, and they proved it last year being the best team, even though they had a, a tough stretch in the middle where they lost six of eight. But UConn has been spectacular all season long. And what has really impressed me is how their defense has come along. Their offense has been national championship good from week one. But their defense was probably ranked in the 30s in the metric, which wasn't elite. Now they're up into the top 15, uh, top, close to the top 10, which means they've really been trending up. And Donovan Klingon, after some injuries early, is really starting to play. He had 20 points, 16 rebounds. Uh, in the Big East final against Marquette. He, he's the real deal, and they have, they have everything. They, they, are, they are loaded at every position. UConn's going to be on everyone's bracket. UConn's going to be in the Final Four in everyone's bracket, and most brackets, UConn's going to be picked to win. Uh, every time they've been challenged, they've, they've kind of responded in a championship pedigree. Having said that, I'm going to throw a flyer out and say Kentucky's eventually in the right bracket that doesn't have a guy that can break you down off the dribble and run a ton of high ball screens. Kentucky is the most talented team one through nine in the tournament I think Kentucky can make a run I'm with you JB on UConn I definitely see that and I'm with you as well on there being maybe eight to nine ten teams that can win a championship one of those teams on the back end though that I don't think is even though they won the Big 12 they're not receiving a lot of national recognition as it really a championship I mean look there's only three more teams in the college division that has more quad one wins than Iowa State like Iowa State if they can score they're a team that can get to a final four they're a team that can win a national championship um, Silovich is a guy that can spread out the floor. They have guard play. They can defend. We talked about that game against Houston. They absolutely smacked Houston. And I think they sent a message to the country that we are for real and we deserve to be a title. You contender. think you can win the national championship playing six consecutive rock fights? I mean, yeah. well, that's a question for Houston. Can, and they, make, yeah. can they make rock fights? Yeah. Another team to watch to win a national championship is Illinois. Mm -hmm. Illinois has star caliber players, especially in Terrence Shannon Jr., but they've got a bunch of playmakers, so they can, they can play iso ball, back you down, good passers, they're solid defensively. I think Illinois is a team to keep an eye on. You had 40 in the Big 40 is pretty good. Yeah, yeah. That, that, that works for you. You can get behind a guy and ride him there. One of the things that will be interesting in this tournament, we assume Iowa State's not going to get a one seed. It is likely that three of the number one seeds will be coming in off a loss.